on its last days. Previously on Davos, we did some epic scuba diving and had a muddy adventure on the back roads of Madagascar. Okay, well, we're about ready to head north, and so we're gonna do a little last minute provision here for like maybe a week to 10 days. Cool. So we've got a little list, and we're gonna head into the local market get some veggies and then we'll head to the store and get a few more things. So we've got our little Madagascar shopping bags. Nice. <laughs> and, uh, it's usually a pretty fun experience. Experience. <laughs> <Awesome. laughs> Alright, let's do this. Delos and crew at a pretty epic spot on the western side of Isle Saint Marie in Madagascar. We had a nice protected anchorage and plenty of incredible beaches to choose from. We were hanging out around Lemur Beach. It's probably not what it's called, but it made sense to us. Our crew contest winners Greg and Cheyenne had arrived just a few days before, and they were fitting right in. Spray diving. <laughs> there you go. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> but now it's time to make tracks and sail back around the north cape of Madagascar over to the west side of the island. It would probably be a week or so trip, so we're off on a mission for fresh veggies. What kind did you go with? <laughs> Fromage raclette. I have no idea what it is, but we're gonna get half a kilo of it. <laughs> Looks good. Okay, so that was a success in the store. Yes. Now it's veggie time. Veggie time. Okay, so we're gonna get our eggs here. Okay. So basically what we'll do is just lay the, the egg containers up over there and then you'll just pick out the good ones and fill them up one by one. Okay. And we'll get some beans, so uh, stink song gram. A little bit different than the supermarket. Yes, it's better. <laughs> it's all organic, just stuff grown, you know, out in the farms where you're riding around, yeah. right? 31,500 ariari. Yeah. <laughs> <Not so much. laughs> Some beans. Yeah. Basically, look at stuff you'd like to eat and then buy it. So, <laughs> everything's really good. She has the best, the best tomatoes. <laughs> okay, look at these. Beautiful, huh? Yes. <laughs> we 
you don't know what this is. How much? And then we don't know how much it costs. <laughs> well, we're gonna try it. It might be like a guava or a something. But now she's taking Brian's money, and we don't know how much it costs. Uh, what do you got? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this new little fruit here. How does it Good. taste? Mmm. I love it. It's good. Is it sour? <laughs> I don't remember the name of these. But do you like them? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> but they're good. <laughs> they are good. Look at those. Those are good strawberries. Mm. Mm. Kilo. So that's a good deal, man. Yeah. <laughs> How was your first Madagascar shopping experience? I think it went pretty well, yeah. actually. It was very fun to yeah. try and figure out what things were <laughs> and what was good and who had the best. And um, it's kind of like a farmer's market, but better. Like Madagascar stuff. Yes. Madagascar. It's and interesting to see all the meats everywhere. Yeah. Yes. And we tried some fruit that we have no idea what it is, <laughs> but it's very good. Yeah. Good. Very good. Cool. Hello, Bill. Hello. Today is the day, brother. We're going to Nosy Bay. Nosy Bay bound. So we've got like a 400 mile sail. It should be pretty sweet. All downwind. But the boat's been super slow. I think we're losing like between a knot and a knot and a half because we haven't cleaned the bottom in a while. I think it's pretty dirty, so we just gotta go down and scrub some stuff off. Make us fast again. I'll pull up the hook and head north. Downwind for the Cape. Cap de Hombre. So everybody else is down under cleaning the boat, um, which is actually pretty interesting because you can hear it. Um, I'm in the kitchen looking after Camilla's bread, which smells amazing. And I'm not helping because I still have nasty poison ivy that has been popping open this morning, which is really gross. <laughs> How's it going, Shan? We are itchy today. <laughs> Third day on the boat, what have happened? Cheyenne has her first poison ivy. It looks pretty it's gnarly. gnarly. Yep. And then we have this one. Ew. This one's gross. Too. Ooh. Wait. Oh, there. Ooh. Yeah, good. So we're going to try some baking soda, some water, and some crushed up spirulina and see if it dries it out. How is it down there? <laughs> Starting to look good. Yeah. So it's a clean good. lady now. Clean. Clean. We'll have 10 to 15 knots out of the southeast. And then as we go up the coast here to round the Cape, we'll be around the Cape around Friday, probably two, three in the morning. And it's looking like anywhere from 20 to 25. Some of the forecasts show a bit stronger into the 35s. And we've, we've done this trip before last year, we were coming in this way, so we know around here the wind basically comes out of the southeast, hits the coast of Madagascar, and just shoots up north. So you get really strong southerlies on this coast. But we'll be going with it, which will be really good. And then if we check out the currents around here, they're going to be with us the whole ride to, as we come up the coast of Madagascar. Of course, we saw last year the same thing. It was super strong right here. But we'll have wind and current with us. And Blast around 400 miles, get it done in 24 hours. 24 <laughs> hours, <laughs> super speed, super speed. They lost. Are you ready for a little sailing trip around the corner yes. of Madagascar? <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. a little bit, a little bit seasick, but a little bit seasick the first time. So you'll be we'll okay see. though. We've taken some pills, yeah. so I'll either be throwing up or passing out, so we'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a great sale. Yes! Alright, it's time to go. 
Kazatron's getting the anchor up. We're gonna head that away. Can you tell us the game plan, Brady? Well, the wind is perfect as we expected coming straight from behind us. So we're gonna put this pole out. We'll switch the Genoa over to the port side and then we can put our Jenniker, which is like a light, lighter version of that, on the starboard side on the other pole. And it's really cool because Amels are one of the few boats that have dual downwind poles so we can set both sails and just straight up the ass. <laughs> what? <laughs> Two poles involved. Two Sounds poles. Interesting. Two poles. So once the boat rocks the port, give it a push. nine o'clock and I've had a pretty good watch it's a little bit it is a little bit rolly I mean the boat is like moving in a weird space because we don't have that much wind I think we're doing pretty good for now it's a beautiful night cool yeah. <laughs> it's about 5 30 in the morning sun's just coming up and uh, it's an all right night it's a little bit Roly poly, there wasn't a whole lot of wind, and so the boat's just like kind of going like this, and the sails are going ch -ch -ch, which makes a lot of noise. And I don't really sleep very good when the boat's doing that, but we're averaging between five and six knots, which is okay. And uh, I think today will be a pretty nice day of sailing, at least we hope. So how are you feeling today, Shan? Good? Yes. We had some bread butts and cheese <laughs> <laughs> and marmalade. Nice. And the season crystals are working, so... Did you sleep anything? A little bit. Go to sleep. Uh... It was your first night at sea though, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just kind of crazy. Uh, yes. I think we have something on the fishing line and I am not extremely sure how to pull it in. I tried to pull it in, but it's just slipping. Do you want golf spray? Yes. In the 
Okay, we got a mahi. <laughs> Good morning, Brian. <laughs> I feel so bad, man, every time we get one of these, but they're so, they're so good. I guess I know what I'm cooking today. Yeah. I haven't caught a fish in a while. Yeah, it's been a while. This is a nice one, too. The mahis aren't too bad to fillet. The meat comes off pretty easy. That beautiful filet of mahi. I think that's what we'll have for lunch. Yeah. Probably have enough for lunch, dinner. Maybe one more meal too. So we got a nice big bag of filets. Beautiful. It will at least be three meals, I think, for sure. For six people. It's incredible. Yeah. We caught a mahi while I was sleeping. <laughs> yes, great. So this delicious mahi mahi, I, fuck, I've been sweating in the kitchen for like an hour. I've cooked raw, chopped up raw potato and some salad and we're now going to check the fish. Voila. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Oh, it's sweaty but it's done. Um, Man, that looks good, Kaza. Yeah. What do you got in there? We have a salad, assorted salad with garlic. We have raw fried potato, Swedish style, and fried mahi mahi. Freshly cut. Lunch is ready. Ooh. Wow. Thank nice. you. It's the best fish. So fresh. Yeah. So good. Thank you, Gaza. Thank yeah, you, Yeah, this is amazing. The wind picked up, and we were having a hell of a sail. Dallas was just cruising along, doing her thing. All was well in our little world. Then all of a sudden, we heard a loud rip and the slapping of sheets on the hull. last days. Not surprised. Oh man! <laughs> we should have known better. <laughs> yeah, well. This thing's like, I don't know, it's 15 years old. I don't know how uh, many tens, day. thousands of sea miles it has on it. I think it's time for a new one. Yeah. My favorite seal! It's a bad one too. Like really bad. Like all the way. I mean, we yeah, have fixed the whole bottom. I've fixed like, probably sewn it about six times over the years. But... I think this is a... Uh, this might do it in. <laughs> <laughs> this might, might be my last... I don't know if I, I can do that one. I that up. Uh, that's, that's a lot of stitching. At least we got a pull the up sailing out of it. It, was, it had a last good run. Like it had a solid fucking eight hours of what it was born to do. <laughs> so it's our... Second night out at sea. Um, we're doing pretty well. We have quite a bit of wind, a lot more than yesterday. We have like around 30 knots averaging, I think. We're doing really well speed wise. I think on my watch, we've been averaging around 9 knots and seen everything from like 12 right now. And so anything from like 7 till 12, really. Um, we're quite close to the coast. You can see on the radar. 
Um, yeah, wind's been a little bit more than we'd like actually. Um, the autopilot is having quite a rough time handling it, but it's doing pretty well so far. We've taken a lot of sail. Um, We've got a fish on! Oh yeah, that's pretty stretched, isn't it, on port side? Yeah, it's something on there. It's a tuna. Yeah! Oh shit! Look oh, at that beautiful, it's a beautiful tuna. Beautiful tuna. Fatty. Nice it's and healthy. Fin. No, it's not a yellow fin. No, it might be a big eye. It might be a big eye. It's like a big eye, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Do you get a rip? Yeah. One shot. Yellow on the top. The markers on the belly give it away. All the lines with the dots and stripes. So I think it's a big eye. So we could. Thank you. Maybe you're right. We could compare. It's uh, midnight now. We're about 75 miles from the top of the Cape, and the conditions are getting pretty rough. Like big waves, wind is gusting 35, 40 true, but it is directly behind us. But it's pretty intense. You hear these massive waves just coming at you, and you can't see. It's pitch black. There's no moon. And all of a sudden this massive wave will come and pick up the stern and you'll just launch down the face of it. A lot of respect for the ocean in this part of the world for sure. Apparent wind speed has just been crawling up. And of course our speed over ground. Flying along. So if we switch the pole to starboard and put it on the other side, I think it'll handle a little bit better. I need a little scrap and head sail out, still doing like nine, ten knots. Yeah. Yeah, once you start putting more sail out, it makes no difference. Although I did see 15.1. I don't know why this cape is always it's such a gnarly cape. Oh, this, man. this one. The weather, the, the weather says it should be nice 20, 25. But of course it's not. Good morning, sunrise, and I am tired. I don't know what the deal is, but I'm exhausted. I think the weather. A little rough last night, I didn't really sleep much and had to change some sails, but the good news is, look where we are. So we're only like 20 miles away from the Cape, and after we make that little turn there, we're going to find a sweet little place to anchor in here and get a little bit of rest. Good morning. Hi. Are you as tired as me? Oh. You look fresher than I feel. Yeah, I slept for like an hour. <laughs> Just now. <laughs> How are you? Look Sleepy at, and harnessed in. You're all, I was wondering, you're all clipped in. Are you planning on going out on deck or what? <laughs> Never know. I think it's so we should be there. I mean, we're going 10 knots, so we should be there like a little over an hour. Like an hour and a half. It feels good. It's weird to think that we crossed last year in very different conditions. I mean, now, I mean, it was a pretty rough night, but it's nice now, and I can even have the autopilot on without it screaming at me. <laughs> so it feels really cool. And yeah, really excited to have sushi today. 
what do you call it? A tuna. Super good. I love sushi. It's one of my downfall. And I shouldn't like sushi probably, but it's so good. Ah, what is that? Anyways, so hopefully we can turn pretty soon so we don't get too much on the beam. But we need to take a pole down and stuff, so the waves are getting pretty big. <laughs> you can really feel the energy of the current and the wind around this cave here. It's quite beautiful though, it's impressive. Good morning. I'll see you for two hours. Two hours, good. Whoa, that was a good one too. Yeah, about one high five. Made it on the cake. Madagascar. Looks like this chart's off a little bit because as you can see, we're about to run right through the land. <laughs> Up front, it looks like we're going through the channel. I just stop it! That's why you enter in the day and you look with your eyes. Yeah. These things. Eyes are number one. Eyes are good ones. We have arrived. It's chill. I don't think there's anybody here except us. Look at the beautiful tuna. Mm-hmm. See how it shimmers, it's nice and pink. So what's going on here? We are making sushi. Sushi. Sushi night. Sushi night. We have cut vegetables. Mm -hmm. And a huge avocado. That is a massive avocado. I know, it's only half of a half too. <laughs> it's just really crazy. <laughs> and then Greg is making Green green greens learning. Greg is making stuff. rice. <laughs> Doing real good today, mahi tacos and then sushi. You're advancing <laughs> we're, fast, man. We're trying. <laughs> what are you guys doing outside? You got some liquor coming up. What? It's a very productive night on Delos. <laughs> <laughs> this upstairs project. It's flowing. Is it? It's flowing, baby. It's flowing. Mm -hmm. Let's see this spread, guys. Yeah, very good. Nice work. Look at that fish, huh? Look at that burrito. <laughs> Do you want this, Frank? To then like turn it and like grab it. So like like, one joint. big motion. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Probably not going to be sushi chef of the year anytime soon. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> and now we got it. What you got over here? <laughs> you just got rice and sushi. It's <laughs> coming a little stone. I mostly like the fish and the rice, so I just made a little fish and rice situation here. Yes. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Up next, we arrive at the beautiful island of Nozihara and explore this paradise for the second time. Mm. 
Like it? I like it a lot. Can't even tell which one's which. Huh? You're standing like that. <laughs> look, look. The two Swedes. <laughs> what? What's inside there? We got some salt and some <laughs> sugar. Sugar. Sugar and some of the jasmine juice. No. Jasmine. Jasmine juice. Jasmine juice. Gross. Let's go with jasmine juice. Joke of the day. What kind of milk? Oh no. <laughs> what kind of bees make milk? Boobies. <laughs>